Okay, so here we go. We're going to do a uh, simple engine oil change on a Honda S2000. Uh, no difficult, uh, more difficult than other Hondas if you've worked on them. Very, very straightforward. Uh, quick overview. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to. The car's already been ran up and warmed up, obviously, to uh, get the engine all uh, all round all warm. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to jack the car up, secure it with an axle stand. Uh, we've got a 17mm nut, the sump nut. Uh, as you can see on this car, it's got a uh, Cusco type underbody brace. Uh, that prevents you from actually using a socket for the sump. Uh, so you'll have to use a ring spanner to get around it, which is uh, no great trouble. You should be alright with that. So uh, once you've got that off, you can, uh, you can start with the oil drain. Just come over here. Got a list of the tools to take you through. Okay, first off on the top left, we've got the jack, pretty obvious really. Uh, then we've got an axle stand to secure the car. We've got some kitchen roll just to wipe up any spills. Hammer just for tapping the spanner if the, the uh, something looks a bit tricky. Then we have the oil filter, uh, genuine Honda, and the oil filter remover. Uh, we've also uh, obviously you can that tightens it up as well. Seven eighths of a turn, remember that. We've got the oil that's going in, in this case 040 Edge Sport, and then we have the oil drain pan, which is what we're going to use to remove the old oil and then store away and uh, dispose of safely and environmentally friendly. Okay, I've uh, jacked the car up so you can get access to underneath the sump nut. Uh, what you'll notice is that I'm going to leave the jack uh, in position on the front jack mount. My um, security comes in the form of an axle stand, uh, so if the jack does fail, uh, I'll still uh, have safety to get up from under the car, no problem. That's what always you should uh, look for, personal safety. Uh, right, okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move on to actually draining the oil. Okay, here we can see the sump nut, and you can sort of see, if we're getting close, how the bar is restricting the use of the socket. So, uh, what I've got here is a 17 mil spanner. I'll just move the uh, tray out of the way, because we don't need that for now. Okay. 17mm spanner on and with uh, with any luck should come off and that's it. Okay. Right, the uh, the sump nut is loose now, so you can see you can turn it with your fingers. Now uh, this is a good time, this way you've got a there's not an exact science, you've got to sort of Line it up now, you know, with the pressure of the oil, the oil's going to come out in an arc pattern like that. So you've sort of got to put your drip tray lengthways. Hopefully we can catch it here. Try and get this now. As I say, what you want to do is, as you're unscrewing it, apply pressure inwards. So that when it comes off the thread, you'll feel it and you don't, you've got a chance to ready yourself to hold the the bolt so you've got to spill it so there you go it's just come off so here we go we're going to try and move the bolt catch it and get the oil drained okay there we go and the oil's draining away minimal spillage on the uh, on the nut so we'll, uh, we'll just watch that drain now and uh, we'll finish off let that drain and then uh, we'll come back and we'll show you how to drain the uh, remains. Okay, the oil's been draining for about five minutes now. Uh, you can see there's just uh, small remnants coming out. So what I'm going to do is going to try and get a little bit more out. We're going to, because uh, obviously I've tilted the car up to gain access to the sump. Uh, the oil's pooling back on the other side. So what we're going to do now is we're going to remove the axle stand that we're going to gently lower the car down uh, until we can get it as flat as possible like crushing the oil pan and then uh, drain some more. So we'll just do that now. Okay. Remove the axle stand. And the jack. Try and tweak it. It comes down nicely. There we go. Go down, watching. Okay. And I don't know if you can see. But the, the little wisp that's coming out is now a bit more of a stream. You see the oil that was uh, at the other side of the pan, that's now coming out. So what we'll do is we'll continue to do that, I'll lower it a bit more until we get the rest of it out without touching and then we'll move on to removing the oil filter. 
Okay, it's time to remove the oil filter now. Uh, the good news is, is that if we come back over here to the tools, that, 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 is that the uh, same tool can be used, obviously, if you, well, assuming you're taking off a uh, new OEM style SD1000 oil filter. Uh, we've got the tool for it available from Honda for something like a pound, something like that, so worth, well worthwhile getting. Uh, if not, uh, other methods to uh, get the oil filter out are a oil filter strap, uh, a metal one, as something like, like this. Or if you're really desperate you can, uh, and you're a bit stuck, simply uh, take a uh, screwdriver, a uh, hammer and physically puncture the oil filter. That way you've got good leverage to get it off. But no, we don't need to because we're all prepared, so we're going to use the uh, OEM tool. Slot it on here, like so. You'll notice that you struggle for a socket, so uh, we're going to use this spanner again, 17mm. And uh, we should just be able to take this off with minimal force. There we go, already undoing. I'm going to use the uh, open end to give me a bit, a bit easier to do. Yeah, turning nicely. Now that's gone slack now, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and uh, prevent a little bit of mess because I've always going to dribble down. So uh, I'm going to take some kitchen roll. I'm going to try and just uh, cover up the problem areas at where it gets to. Wrap it around there. And hopefully you can sort of a little bit it's not the greatest we'll wedge them in the uh, in between the top of the oil filter try and pick up some spill there okay. under here is probably a good idea so you can see where I've wedged it I'll remove the uh, let's give that a tap there we go just loosen it off that comes off so now now we can uh, just go about hand removing. There we go, just turn it nice and easy. So what we're going to try and do is as it comes off, see the oil dripping out now. As it comes off we're going to try and catch as much oil as we can in the filter. So don't rush because you know there's always going to be a bit of spillage. So we're just going to try and turn the filter up so that the, uh, the, the thread is pointing upwards so we can catch as much oil as we can. Oh, a little bit of spillage. And there we go. Go. You can see it's full of oil, so we're going to put that down safe and we'll dispose of that later. Okay. So now we're uh, ready for fitting the new filter. Okay, here we've got the oil filter. It's a uh, 15400-PCX-004. Uh, as of today, which is the... 13th of February 2009, uh, this is the correct filter to get for your SD1000 F20C engine. Uh, lots of debate on whether other oil filters aren't as well manufactured or they vibrate off or torque settings, blah 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 blah. blah. Uh, I won't get into that, uh, I just use this because uh, it works out. They've got a Honda dealer just a mile up the road, I go there, jobs are good, no problem. Okay, so we've took the oil filter out of the packet uh, and this is it. Uh, so if you can sort of see, uh, it's numbered uh, in eight. Uh, that's for the turn when you uh, turn it on. So uh, turn it onto the engine, so you know it's uh, ac well, adequately torqued. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, wet the seal with some new oil. So here we've got my edge sport. Uh, let's get my finger aside. So. Yeah, cook an oil, and we're just going to apply a nice, uh, nice portion of oil around the seal, and uh, now we're ready for fitting.